because object lessons sometimes can get a little crazy, so. BBA day two is started right. Thank you, Smith Brothers Farms. My husband went and got me half and half last night for my coffee. The day can begin. How's the greeters greeting? Good. Good. I want to pass out these papers. Nice. So you're going to stand right here and you're just going to smile. Okay. You're going to say, welcome. Did you know about our barbecue this Friday? Okay. Okay. Tell them they have to sign up for it. Ryan, I'm so proud of you. Oh, it's day two, and we are going to Peru! Day two of VBA. It's also gonna be a lot of paperwork day. Got a lot of reimbursements to go through and turn in for um, for all those camp trips. And get everything squared away and ready to go. I gotta get everything wrapped up before missions trip. There's a lot going on that needs to be done before then, which is coming up very, very soon. I think they're liking today's first game. We're destroying pyramids and then stopping people from rebu rebuilding them. Uh -huh. Anything that's got a little bit of violence in it, they're pretty big fans of, huh, Ryan? Yeah. <laughs> it's going well. So today's Peruvian snack is papaya. Mmm, -hmm, good. I have to, I have to quality test, Susie. That's right. Um, pineapple. I'm qual, I'm quality control, Janelle. Okay, I really like those plantains. They're like potato chips. Yeah. Okay. So then, I couldn't find these, but Miss Susie found these plantains. Those are super yummy. Oh, I won't focus on it. Come on. Come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. You can do it, little man. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Plantains. Are they good? They taste like potato Oh, wow. Chips. They do taste like potato chips. They're not sweet at all. Yeah. And then banana make chips. Your own. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried to make your own plantains? Just fell. <laughs> really? Wow. Helio fell. <laughs> Oh, it was fun today. Good, I'm glad you liked it. The preschoolers were funny. Yeah. Brian, it was a good game day. Yep. Thanks for your help. Mm -hmm. uh, we did learn that a lot of the preschoolers need to take themselves to the shop because their brakes weren't working very well for yeah. red light, green light. They kept ending up in the middle of the intersection. And getting water on themselves. And getting water on themselves. One kid got soaked. Yes, he did. All right, it's time to clean up, Brian. So for both 
opening and closing, I did messy game. Well, I did a messy game and a messy object lesson. Um, my sister took the majority of the mess <laughs> on the closing. I actually did not realize, Cassidy, that it was gonna be that messy. I'm sorry. But we were talking about patience and anyways, I've gotta do some cleaning on the stage because object lessons sometimes can get a little crazy, so. The odds of it actually hitting the tarp, but believe me, we got a lot on the tarp too. So we were doing this whole paper mache project that my sister didn't wait long enough, so she popped the balloon too early. And the assumption was that she was gonna pop the balloon and then the stuff kind of fall. Like, I knew it would go a little ways. It went a lot of ways. It went everywhere. She is covered in, the paper mache was just flour and water. But I thought, oh, it's no big deal, it's just flour and water, but it's actually kind of hard to get out. So, children's leader tip 472. Don't use flour and water on the stage unless you have two tarps. But even then, it went in places I never imagined it would go. But man, that flour and water likes to stick to carpet. Sorry, Pastor. How's it going, Muffin? After 15 years, you still have a lot of stuff to learn about children's ministry. <laughs> I literally had no idea how hard flour and water was to get off carpet. <clears throat> Games went okay. Good. They did we not. had a great day. The object <clears throat> lesson was great. So at least it was a success. Mm -hmm. Like if it had been a failure and made this big of a mess, that would have been a bummer. All right, so we're almost done with day two in the books. Almost. Si, senor. And looking forward to day three. Yeah. Gotta say, it does feel a little strange being back in the office today. After all these weeks of camp. How about you, Muffin? Feel a little weird? It does, like yeah. doing other, other stuff. Yeah, getting back to uh, same old, same old. Alrighty, I'm headed home. Okay, love you, bye. See you there. In other news, besides Vacation Bible Adventure, which by the way went swimmingly today, thanks to my awesome team, I am at Auburn Library to drop off my ballots. Josh and I's ballots. Today is our local election. So I had to get that done and then I've got to run in and pick up a few books that are, oh, these glasses are crooked. They drive me crazy. I am so sorry about that. I had to come pick up a few uh, books that I had on hold. So I hope you voted today if you had an election. Gotta get some gas. I am under E and then I'm heading home for the night. Having a little dinner. Fresh day, BBA day praise. So we did finally make it out of there. We did finally get all that mess cleaned up as well. <laughs> you live and you learn. You'd think by now we probably would have learned that lesson, but I think that's the first time we ever had any uh, real issues with water and flour. <laughs> it was a good second day of VBA. We're looking forward to the rest of the week. It's going to be awesome. And we just want to stop in and say thank you guys so much for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, all those wonderful things that make you a little bit more wonderful yourself. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Love God, love people.